I walked across Japan, 3,000 uh, kilometers, to, uh, I, from <laughs> south to north, walking, yeah. carrying a backpack, sleeping in barns and abandoned buildings. Well, the exciting time was being a cook on the rainbow warrior for Greenpeace. Uh, I'm a member of Greenpeace since 1976. Swimming was my big passion. I used to swim, well, I used to go in competition swimming and everything. Their life stories tell tales of independence and adventure. Their stories are not over yet, though they've all had to give up a little of that independence to help them get through their final chapters. Well, we were married uh, June 15th, and we had a, uh, a party after. Bill was already living in a care home when his new wife moved in with him from Japan. The move to a senior's care home wasn't easy for some. Uh, I put up a big struggle to be independent, and I still do. If it didn't upset my daughters, I'd do it more. <laughs> and I decided, to, well, I shouldn't say I decided, my family decided that I should come into a care home. How did you feel about that? Very upset, actually, at first. Uh, I'm sort of a very independent person. I just didn't like the atmosphere. But I'm getting used to it. Reiko moved in after marrying Bill last year and loves it. I'm very happy to live here with uh, some other people, older people. So they are so kind and friendly to me. I didn't want to buy an apartment or move in an apartment. Apartments are too lonely. So suddenly it seemed like a good move and I came over here. What they all have in common is that there came a day where they all realized they needed to make the move. I got quite ill. I, I, I got very, very sl uh, slim, lost weight, and I wasn't thinking straight. And uh, uh, it just uh, happened that the doctor recommended, well, I think we, you should consider a, a care facility. Uh, I wasn't... Uh looking after myself properly. As regards meals, I'd skip lunch and couldn't be bothered making a three-course dinner, you know, so a sandwich and a bowl of soup, anything, which was pretty bad. And then the odd time I was forgetting to take my medication. And I caught my heel in the step and I did a somersault, hit my head on the concrete. So I guess I can use that for any shortcomings. <laughs> anyway, I now have a wire here and some screws. And after a stay in the hospital, I came here by chance. It, I knew it was time to go because um, it, it, I had to stop driving. That was the biggest, saddest thing of all was to stop driving because both these two arms I broke three times at, within two years. For some, one of the biggest challenges is suddenly living with strangers. I, I mean, I'm this old. I don't really require a, a busy social life. I'm not friends with anybody. If you, but that's my oh, own boy. fault, not not their fault. If my, I, I just as soon stay in my room reading. Or I, I don't make enemies, but I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm very good at, with my own company. There's one or two people play computer here, one or two people play cards. I, I play games quite seriously, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is why we don't get along sometimes. You don't like playing with me. <laughs> I don't find anyone uh, that I can be a close friend with. To be perfectly honest, I think the fear was mixing with a whole bunch of people. When you've been by yourself for so long and so independent, and then I thought, I, I didn't like the idea of all these people around. No. But most are willing to give it a try. Oh. 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 Oh.
we we bowling has just been introduced here, and that has been a great thing. It's made quite a few of us more friendly. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Bill and his wife, they're very good at it, and I'm on their team. And uh, uh, definitely a real uh, social, how, what's the word, uh, uh, bring you together. Who's just like, no, there's no way. I'd rather live on my own in an apartment even if I'm 90. What would you say? To well, that? if they're capable of doing that, and perhaps they're, they're stubborn and independent, we, that's good for them. But other people, if they, they maybe their eyes should, they should be understanding enough to realize, I would hope they know when they need help. And if, if the family says you need help, if your doctor says it, uh, better pay attention to them. I felt very strange at first. It took me quite a while to get used to, I could say, all these people and sitting down with strangers for your meals. But of course, everything takes time. And now I sit at the table with three men, <laughs> three men in my life. And, uh, so that's uh, eventually, uh, you know, you get used to it. Oh, I think assist. I think assistant living is a wonderful thing for elderly people because it comes a time in your life. Oh, you know, oh, it's, it's different for every person, but uh, it isn't that you're stopping living, and you just want you. You're tired of getting meals ready and that and you have to go shopping of course with your I think these places are wonderful for elderly people I think I think everybody will go through the same thing you know like I say you get so set in your ways as you get start getting older that it, this is a complete change of life it really is so <laughs> the only advice I can say is take the plunge and, and do it